You're watching Price's Valley This Morning on KBTX News 3. The family of one of the contractors who died in the Burleson County oil well blowout is seeking their own answers as to what caused the accident. Today, a temporary restraining order and injunction against the oil company was filed. News 3's McKenna Rodriguez spoke with the attorney representing the family about what they want. The first victim of the Burleson County oil well blowout has been identified by the family's attorney as Wendell Bedingfield. Friday, a temporary restraining order and injunction was filed against Chesapeake Energy. In court documents, the family wants to prevent the company from removing any evidence from the scene. Eric Allen, an attorney with Zell & Associates, says this is vital for them to perform their own investigation. We need to be able to have experts take a look at what happened, uh, evaluate any negligence and grossly negligent factors, and in order to do so, it is imperative at the start of the case to preserve the evidence, and that is what this filing is, seeks to accomplish. Allen says it's important for the family to get involved early in the case in order to seek justice for Bettingfield. He has been described as a loving son, a brother, and a father, uh, very committed to his family, and quite frankly, an awesome guy. Uh, what we're looking for here is just to make sure we understand what happened and to the extent uh, possible to bring justice and some sense of closure to the family. Allen says once they perform their own investigation, the findings will determine how they move forward with a claim against Chesapeake. McKenna Rodriguez, News 3. Now, we are also still waiting to hear back from the contracting companies to confirm the identity of Bettingfield and the other contractor who died. Officials with the Burleson County Sheriff's Office say they do not have that information.